All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This reading here is for my Taurus Zodiac sign. Love and relationship reading for you. Uh, before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable. So energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip the energies that best resonate with you. Let's go ahead and get the overall energy for my Taurus Zodiac sign, please. <clears throat> overall energy for Taurus Zodiac sign, please. What is the overall energy for my Taurus Zodiac sign, please? Thank you. So we have engagement. <clears throat> overall energy for my Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Thank you. Overall energy for Taurus Zodiac sign, please. We also have very soon. Clarify the overall energy for my Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Thank you. And codependency. Guys, if you need to, feel free to skip ahead. I'm going to lay out the entire spread before I begin. Alright, clarify engagement for Taurus Zodiac sign. Thank you. Where did it go? I just heard it flip over. There it is. Clarify engagement for Taurus Zodiac sign, please. <clears throat> Clarify engagement. Thank you. Clarify engagement for Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Thank you. That one shot out. Okay. Let's clarify uh, very soon for Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Clarify very soon for Taurus Zodiac sign. Thank you. Can I have one more, please? Clarify very soon for Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Thank you. I just felt it. There we are. <clears throat> Clarify codependency for a Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Clarify codependency. Thank you. Clarify codependency for a Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Clarify codependency for a Taurus Zodiac sign, please. Clarify codependency. Thank you. Can I have one more, please? Can you clarify codependency? Thank you. Okay, give me one moment. Let me pull the energies uh, from the spread here before I begin. <clears throat> also, guys, uh, I do apologize ahead of time if you hear some noise in the background. Those are my children. Um, they're in the living room, but they tend to get a little rowdy. Okay. Okay, let's, let's begin with your message here. So the overall energy that we have at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands. This is being in a better position. This here is standing your ground and have um, having the upper position to where you can fight off. Anything that is coming in your way <clears throat> that does not serve you, that, not, that does not benefit you. This is also the energy of overcoming things and then finally coming out on top being in a better position to move forward, to thrive, and to go after the things that you want and that you desire. So let's see here. <clears throat> we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. To clarify engagement, we have the King of Cups, Knight of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. So the King of Cups defines a commitment, um, okay, a relationship, a loving relationship, one with emotions. So you do have your emotions uh, here available. You're ready for a commitment. You're ready to move forward with someone with the King of Cups. The King of Cups is also a warm and thoughtful person, very caring, very creative, okay, um, someone that's willing to to go the extra mile. Someone that's willing to commit and be in love and, and cherish the other person. We also have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands represents, okay, moving. Uh, it could be a journey of like moving home, moving to a different location, moving states, moving cities, things like that. And with the Four of Pentacles, this is like feeling as though you are kind of keeping things to yourselves, like... Maybe keeping, um, being selfish of your money, okay? 
being kind of like holding back, like saving, not in a bad way. So you could be moving due to a relationship. Okay, if you're in a relationship with someone and you're moving to the next level, this could be you wanting to move in with this person. And so you're saving your money, you're saving your coins um, to make this move, okay? Or this could be a situation where you guys speak about it, you talk about it and say, hey, with us moving into this this committed type of relationship or this marriage or this um, whatever this situation is with this commitment, this could be saying, hey, you know, if we live together, we could definitely be saving more money instead of spending the extra money. So I do feel like this next commitment, this next engagement is you guys moving in together, okay? Or you guys moving to a new um, a new position in your relationship, going from boyfriend and girlfriend to husband and wife, okay? Or to wife and wife, husband and husband, whatever that relationship is with you. So I do feel like you're moving forward here. And with this moving forward, I feel like you are saving as well, saving financially with this move, with this step forward here. So I feel like this is going to benefit you in some way. And there's actually a lot of passion, a lot of love here. Because we have the King of Cups and the Knight of Wands. So this is something that's, um, that you guys have thought about, right? You thought about, you spoke about it, and you're like, okay, let's just do it. Or let's go forward. I see it kind of moving kind of uh, quickly because the Knight of Wands does represent a passion, like a fire, quick movement to it. So I feel like you guys are, have been talking about it. You're all pumped up about it and you're ready to just do it. Okay, so if this is you getting ready to propose, you could be uh, saving up money to buy that ring or you could be saving up money to um, move forward into an apartment or a house or moving in, in with someone. I also have very soon, so clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So with this, I'm seeing the Nine of Swords, the Emperor, and the Knight of Pentacles, okay? To me, this represents maybe this person has spoke to you about it, or you guys have spoken about it, about moving in together, about moving forward with one another. And to me, it's like you've been up late nights thinking about it with the Nine of Swords here. You've been up thinking about it like, is this the best move? Do I really need to do this? You know, I'm so used to being on my own because we have the Emperor and the uh, Nine of Pentacles. So this tells me that you're so used to being in control of everything, being um, your own stability, the one that you depend on. And so you really may be thinking a lot about this at nighttime when this person isn't, um, isn't around you or when you're not texting or calling this person or this person isn't spending the night. You guys may have been separated as far as like uh, living in different homes. And so now that this has been brought to your attention, they're now saying, hey, I think we should move in together, yada, yada, yada. Or you're going to them saying we should move in together. But it, your thought process right now, you're so in your head about it or you're up late night thinking about it, stressed about it, worried about it, maybe a little anxious. Because you're so used to this nine of pentacles. You're so used to having your own back. Uh, taking care of all of the bills, not having to depend on anybody else. And it's like, you have to decide if this is the step that you want to take. Do you want to do this with them? Do you want to move forward with them? Or if this isn't something you want to do, then you have to let them know. Because I feel like the more you, <clears throat> the more you worry about it and you keep telling yourself like, okay, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. I don't know, I'm not sure. Like you're you're tearing you're tearing in between yourself like do I do it or do I not do it it's like you're very undecided and you keep going back and forth with yourself and I feel like this person is really excited about it if you've if you've talking with them or spoken with them they're going to be really excited about this but this is definitely something you need to decide you need to make that decision and it's saying very soon because this person either has asked you and you haven't given them the answer or you're trying to decide if you're going to ask them to take this relationship to the next step and you haven't and they may have the feeling that you're going to ask them or they may start to feel like you're pulling away. Again, I feel like you're really thinking about it because here you are, Seven of Wands, you're, you always, it's like you felt like, how, how, how can I say this? It's like you haven't depended on anyone else. You've always depended on yourself because you are the emperor. 
You are used to being in control. You are used to controlling your situation, your finances, your house, your home, your job, things like that. Whatever it is that you're used to controlling. You're normally, because the emperor is the one that's in charge. It, it, the emperor is the one that's calling the shots, making the, the decisions, and making things happen. And that's what you are used to. And you know that if you decide to make this move with this person, that half of that goes out the window. So we also have a codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Here we are again. Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups. You don't want someone to be codependent on you, and you don't want to become codependent on them. You don't want to feel like you are going to have to go through any type of financial burden or financial situation. Like, you don't want somebody to depend on you financially. You want someone that can carry their weight. And although you are showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, someone with wealth, someone with stability, someone that's committed to making sure things flow the way that they are, you also want that. You don't want to kind. You don't want to have to um, date down. You want someone that's going to come in and that's going to be equal with you. Someone that's going to do fifty fifty. And it's like when you find this person, you want to be able to move forward with them with love. Like I feel like you want to move forward with this person, but for some reason, this five of pentacles is showing up, and I feel like. I feel like you're afraid or you have the fear of being left out in the cold. So like moving in with this person, you're, you could be, you don't want to feel like they're codependent on you financially or you are codependent on them financially. Again, I don't think that it's you being codependent. I feel like it's more of them being codependent. Maybe you have seen a few things that you don't like and that's why you're kind of up thinking about this late at night and you're kind of going back and forth, back and forth with yourself because you don't really know what you want to do. And I would just suggest, think about it a little bit longer. You need to make the decision. If you feel like it's not the right step, definitely don't do, don't, don't do it. Uh, you know, because moving in with someone is definitely something, it's a serious step in a relationship, you know. Because you're no longer the person that's the breadwinner, bringing home all of the bacon, taking care of everything. You know, this, 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 this bill was all paid because you took care of it. Like, you're now depending on somebody else to do their part. And if they don't do their part, then that's when you have to step in and take care of it. And that can cause issues and problems and things like that in a relationship. So I feel like that's why you're kind of stuck in your head and you're kind of like going back and forth with yourself if this is what you want to do. So let's see here. Let's get the energy of this person. I want to see what the energy is of this person here. But I do see that you care about them because I do have the Knight of Cups. And I feel like you want to do it because you want to prove to them that you love them, that you care about them. Let's see. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding Taurus. Yeah, seven of cups. Clarify the energy of this person surrounding Taurus. Thank you. Clarify the energy. Thank you. Yeah. Three of wands. Okay, they're looking for this. I feel like they've they might have brought this this type of situation up to you before. They could have maybe mentioned it to you as well, letting you know like they're wanting more out of the relationship and with more they're wanting either uh, to be married, to be engaged, to move in together, things like that. That's how they're feeling because we do have the Three of Wands and the Three of Wands represents uh, um, progress, represents something, working towards something and something paying off and then watching your ships kind of ride in here or sail in through the water because these are the ships here and and they're watching their product, their work come in and sell into them. So I feel like this person has put in all of this work and they're like, okay, I've put in all this work. I've done what I needed to do. I'm proven to this person. I'm proven to my Taurus that I love them, that I care about them. You know, that I need something back. I need a little something back. So I feel like this is your way of telling them that you love them and that you care about them. And you do want to make that next move, whether it being you proposing to them or you getting engaged with them or you... Just um, clarifying what type of relationship you guys have or you moving in with them. So to clarify their energy, we have the Seven of Cups, the Hierophant, and the Ace of Wands. So the Seven of Cups, they do see a lot of potential with you. They dream about you a lot. They dream about all of the things that they want to create with you, do with you. Um, 
they think about all of the things that, okay, you know, I want to be married, I want to have kids, I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to travel the world, I want to, whatever it is. They're thinking about that with you because we have to hire a fund and that's the commitment, okay? They are wanting to commit with, commit with you and this Ace of Wands is showing that this new beginning that they're starting with you, as you can see, it's growing into a branch here, okay? It's growing into, I'm sorry, it's growing into a tree here. It's starting to grow leaves, and it's starting to grow bigger and bigger. So this beginning that they started with you, they plan on just growing from that. They don't, they don't want just the short end of the stick, okay? They want to continue to grow with you and grow with you, and that means that they want to move in with you. They want to move forward with you. They want the engagement. They want the wedding. They want this. Whatever the commitment is that you guys have talked about, they want all of that. And I feel like this, with you guys moving in with them or moving forward with them to clarify the type of relationship or the engagement that you're going to do, I feel like this is your way of letting them know that you care about them, about them and you love them. And this is going to uh, give them that reassurance that, you guys are on the right track to making this relationship grow. So let's see, what is the, let's see if we have any advice or clarity for you, Taurus. Really, this is kind of your decision, Taurus. You have to just decide what you want to do. If you want to move in with them or if you want to keep dating or whatever it is. Um, let's see, clarify any advice. Oh, wow, I, I had a feeling that was going to pop out. Any advice or clarity for Taurus? Yeah, again, that is what, this is, I, this is what you're worried about, the base chakra. This is what you're worried about. This is your go-to, because as a Taurus, that is that you're an earth sign. So you worry about your money, your finances, of being able to afford things and things like that. So this is your, this is what's on your mind, is your base chakra, because you're thinking to yourself, you know, once I go this route, I'm going to feel as though I'm financially responsible for this other person. Or um, I'm trusting this person to be financially responsible with me, to build with me. And I feel like that is what's tearing you apart. It's not that you don't love them, because you do. We have the Knight of Cups. You do love them, and we also have the King of Cups. So you do love them. You are committed with them. You care about them, but you also care about your money. You also care about your financial stability and your stability in a whole. You really, truly care about that. And that right there, putting that on the line and trusting someone with that kind of worries you just a little bit. It kind of gives you that anxiety of, holy, sh am I really about to do this? Like That's like giving them your social and then letting them go take out whatever freaking credit cards they want to. So I feel like you're worried about that. And... Again, that's something you really have to meditate on, work on, because we do have seek. So this is telling me that you need to go within and kind of meditate on it to make your decision, okay, to seek your answers, to find out what you really should do. What do, what do I want to do? Do I want to move forward with this person? Is this going to be an engagement? Is this going to be a marriage? Is this going to be me moving in with them? Again, I feel like it's a moving in situation and it's going to justify the growth of the relationship but it can be it can be whatever your situation is it can, it can actually be marriage commitment okay and um it doesn't have to be like legal marriage either this could be like a spiritual type of marriage all right so i do see the advice that they're giving is to kind of meditate on it think about it and find out if this is something that you really want to do and if not then you definitely need to talk to this person and let them know hey i just don't feel comfortable right now you know I'm so used to having my own back that I'm just not ready to give that leeway right now now that person may not take that easily but you know it is what it is okay let's see any final messages that you would like to give Taurus any final messages that you would like to give Taurus any final messages you would like to give Taurus thank you any final messages you would like to give Taurus? Thank you. Okay, so the final messages we have for you is take a leap of faith into the unknown. Follow your heart's desires and manifest the heck out of your life. And everything you need, your courage, strength, 
compassion and love. Everything you need is already within you. So that is what I have for you today, Taurus. I hope that this helps. I hope it resonates. Guys, I thank you so much for the love and support, and I will catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.